Hi students, good morning. Welcome back to online class. Are you fine students? I hope you all are fine and safe. Students, now we are revising geography part, is it? From geography part, geography lesson 2, now we are revising. In the previous class, we revised monsoon wind, is it? Then, uh, next we revised about seasons. There are four main seasons are there. Winter season, summer season, southwest monsoon or rainy season, northeast monsoon season, is it? From here, first two seasons we revised in the previous class. For example, winter season and summer season we revised in the previous class. Uh, in today's class, uh, we are going to revise the third season and the fourth season that is southwest monsoon or rainy season and northeast monsoon monsoon season okay the third season is southwest monsoon or rainy season and the fourth season is northeast monsoon season okay now i am going to revise the third season southwest monsoon okay southwest monsoon is otherwise called rainy season south Man uh, west monsoon is otherwise called rainy season uh, this particular season is occur during the month of june to september okay during the month of june to september the southwest monsoon or rainy season will occur okay the southwest monsoon is the most significant feature of the indian climate this important this season is one of the most important uh, feature of the Indian climate. Uh, the onset of the southwest monsoon takes place normally over the south southern tip of the country by the first week of June. Okay, the onset of the southwest monsoon take place normally over the southern tip of the country by the first week of June. Uh, then. Mostly, uh, it advances along the Kongan coast in early June and it hovers the whole country by 15th July. This particular monsoon uh, wind uh, prior to the onset of the southwest monsoon, the temperature in North India reaches up to 46 degrees Celsius. The onset of the southwest monsoon, the temperature in North India reaches reaches up to 46 degrees Celsius. The sudden approach of monsoon wind over South India with lightning and thunder. Okay, the sudden approach of monsoon wind over South India with lightning and th thunder. It is termed as the break or burst of monsoon. The sudden approach of monsoon wind over South India with lightning and thunder is termed as break or burst of monsoon. The monsoon wind strikes against the southern tip of Indian landmass and it gets divided into two branches. Okay, the monsoon wind uh, strikes against the southern tip and uh, it um, uh, strikes against the Indian landmass. Uh, it gets divided into two branches. The one branch starts from Arabian Sea and the other branch starts from Bay of Bengal. Okay, the monsoon wind strikes against the southern tip of Indian landmarks and uh, it gets divided into two branches. The first branch is Arabian Sea branch and the, the second branch is Bay of Bengal branch. Okay, the Arabian Sea branch of southwest monsoon gives heavy rainfall to the west coast of India. The Arabian Sea branch of southwest monsoon gives heavy rainfall to the west coast of India that is located in Windward side. Okay, in, in the areas of Western Ghats area. Windward side that means in the Western Ghats area. Then the other part which towards north is obstructed by Himalayan mountain uh, and it result in heavy rainfall in northern India. Okay, then... Aravalli mountain, it is located the parallel to the wind direction. Um, Rajasthan and western part do not get much rainfall from this branch because of Aravalli mountain. The Aravalli mountain is across uh, uh, this Rajasthan uh, area. So, uh, because of this um, Aravalli mountain, Rajasthan, the western part of Rajasthan do not get much rainfall from this branch. 
Okay, then the next one is the Bay of Bengal branch. This Bay of Bengal branch moves towards North East India and Myanmar. This wind is trapped by a chain of mountains. This particular Bay of Bengal, uh, from Bay of Bengal branch, uh, the wind moves North East uh, uh, India and Myanmar. That particular wind is trapped by a chain of mountains, namely Garo, Kasi, Jaintia and some other areas. Then because of that, uh, the place of Meghalaya, uh, the state of Meghalaya, one of the important places Mao Sindram get heaviest rainfall. It caused the heaviest rainfall in Mao Sindram. Okay. And at the same time, the wind travelled towards west which result decreased the rainfall in east to west. Okay, the same wind uh, travel towards west side which result uh, it decrease the rainfall from east to west. That means 75% uh, of Indian rainfall is received from this monsoon wind. Okay, then the last season is north east monsoon season. The last season is north east monsoon season. Uh, the south west monsoon begins to retreat from north India by the end of the month of September due to the southward shifting pressure belt. Then the south west monsoon wind returns from Indian landmass and blows towards Bay of Bengal. Uh, hence it is known as north east monsoon. The southwest monsoon begins retreat from North India by the end of end of the month of September. Then the southwest monsoon wind returns from Indian land mass and it blows towards Bay of Bengal. So it is known as North East monsoon or post monsoon season. It is known as North East monsoon or post monsoon season. The season is associated with the establishment of the North Easterly wind system over Indian subcontinent. Because of the this monsoon wind uh, in India, uh, some of the state uh, heads uh, rainfall. Uh, for example, uh, low rainfall, uh, some of the areas will get, and uh, some of the areas get high amount of rainfall. Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, uh, then uh, South India places of Karnataka. These areas get um, heavy rainfall. For example, uh, maximum 35% of rain annual in rainfall uh, they are getting through this northeast monsoon season uh, many parts of tamil nadu and some parts of andhra pradesh uh, receive rainfall during this season uh, from bay of bengal from bay of bengal many parts of india they get the rainfall okay then uh, that last topic is distribution of rainfall distribution of rainfall uh, the average rainfall to india to 118 centimeter distribution of rainfall the average annual rainfall of india is 118 centimeter however the spatial distribution of rainfall in the country is highly uneven that means the western coast assam south meghalaya tripura nagaland and arunachal pradesh are the heavy rainfall area which varies get to more than 200 centimeter rainfall in india some of the western coast areas get heavy rainfall um, for example assam south meghalaya tripura nagaland Arunachal Pradesh, these areas get more than 200 centimeter rainfall. Uh, and then uh, the whole of Rajasthan, Punjab, Haryana, western and southern part of Uttar Pradesh, western Madhya Pradesh, uh, these areas uh, uh, receive a low rainfall that means less than 100 centimeter rainfall where uh, receive the these particular areas rest of the areas receive the rainfall ranging between 100 to 200 centimeter listen very careful students the rainfall is distributed highly uneven western coast areas get heavy rainfall for example assam meghalaya Tripura, Nagaland, Arunachal Pradesh, these areas are very heavy rainfall. Uh, more than 200 centimeters rainfall are receiving in these areas. 
then uh, the whole of Rajasthan, Punjab, Haryana, western and south western part of Uttar Pradesh, western Madhya Pradesh, uh, these areas uh, get uh, receive uh, low rainfall. For example, uh, more than 100 centi, less than 100 centimeter rainfall, these areas are receiving. Rest of the areas receive a rainfall ranging between 100 to 200 centimeter uh, rainfall. Okay, uh, from here, the heaviest rainfall area is Mouse syndrome. Okay, Mouse syndrome, the place which receives highest rainfall in the world. Uh, in the previous class, I explained the map. Is it Mouse syndrome? It is one of the important places. It is located in Meghalaya state. Uh, Mouse syndrome is the place which receives highest rainfall in the world. That is situated in the western coast. It is situated in western coast. Okay, nearby Silang. Okay, then uh, some other areas get low rainfall. For example, uh, that Rajasthan area, uh, then Madhya West and Madhya Pradesh area, uh, the Uttar Pradesh, uh, some of the areas. Uh, these areas get very low rainfall. That means less than 100 centimeter rainfall. From here, the western part of Rajasthan, that means in the Thar Desert area, receive less than 50 centimeter rainfall. Very low rainfall area. Tri desert that is that area is tri desert uh, because um, uh, less than 50 centi Celsius uh, centimeter rainfall only uh, receiving in western part of Rajasthan. Uh, so that part is called Thar desert. Okay, then rest of all other areas receive uh, between 100 to 200 centimeter rainfall. Okay, can understand students. Uh, that's all this lesson remaining natural vegetation portions are omitted portions so we are we will leave that uh, portions uh, then i will revise some one word questions i will revise one, some one word questions uh, listen students uh, western disturbances cause rainfall in bass do you know the answer students western disturbances cause rainfall in punjab answer is punjab okay then, DAS helps in quick ripening of mangoes along the coast of Kerala and Karnataka. Mango showers, is it? Thunder with uh, rainfall, monsoon wind with rainfall. Uh, mango shower, the mango showers help in quick ripening of mangoes along the coast of Kerala and Karnataka. Okay. Then, DAS is a line joining the places of equal rainfall. Isopi, um, isoheights, okay, isoheights is the line joining the places of equal rainfall, okay. Then, climate of India is labeled as tropical monsoon climate, okay, tropical monsoon climate, climate of India is labeled as tropical monsoon climate, okay. Then, they match, match the following, northeast monsoon. Northeast monsoon, October to December. Northeast monsoon, October to December. Remaining match the following also we will revise. Sundarbans, Sundarbans is situated in West Bengal. Is it Sundarbans uh, is situated in West Bengal. Uh, biodiversity hotspot, biodiversity hotspot, Himalayas. Then Northeast monsoon, October to December. Tropical thorn forest, tropical thorn forest, desert and semi-desert vegetation, coastal forest, littoral forest. Okay, then some two more questions are there. For example, the first question lists the factors affecting the climate of India. Um, already we revised six factors are mainly affecting the climate of India. Latitude, altitude, distance from the seas. Monsoon wind, relief features and the last one is jet streams, is it? Then what is mean by normal lapse rate? When the altitude increases, the temperatures decreases. Temperature decreases at the rate of 6.5 degrees Celsius for every 1000 meters of ascent. It is called normal lapse rate, is it? Altitude increases, temperature will decrease. Temperature decreases 6.5 degrees Celsius for uh, every 1000 meters. It is called normal lapse rate, okay? The next question, what are jet streams? Jet streams are the fast moving winds 
blowing in a narrow zone in the upper atmosphere. What are jet stream? Jet streams are fast moving wind. Is it fast moving wind? That particular wind is blowing in a narrow zone in the upper atmosphere. Okay, jet streams are fast moving winds blowing in a narrow zone in the upper atmosphere. Okay, then next question, write a short note on monsoon wind. Uh, the word monsoon has derived from the Arabic word mousing which means season. The word monsoon is derived from the Arabic word mousing which means season. It describes a system of seasonal reversal of wind along the source of Indian Ocean, especially over the Arabian Sea. It blows from southwest to northeast during summer and from the northeast to southwest during winter. The jet streams are blows from the southwest to northeast during summer season, from the northeast to southwest during winter season. Okay. Then the next question is, name the four distinct seasons of India, uh, winter and cold weather season. Winter season or cold weather season. That particular season is occur during the month of January to February. Then pre-monsoon or summer season or hot weather season. Uh, this season is, that means summer season. Okay. This season is occur during the month of March to May. Then Third season is southwest monsoon or rainy season. This season is occur during the month of June to September. Then last one is northeast monsoon season. It is occur during the month of October to December. Okay. Then uh, what is burst of monsoon? What is burst of monsoon? Burst of monsoon that is the sudden approach of monsoon wind. Is it burst of monsoon? That is one of the sudden approach of monsoon wind over South India with lightning and thunder. Okay, burst of monsoon. It is one of the sudden approach of monsoon wind over South India and lightning and thunder uh, is termed as the burst of monsoon. The other name of burst of monsoon is break monsoon. B-R-E-A-K. Break or burst of monsoon. It is one of the sudden approach of monsoon wind over South India with lightning and thunder. Burst of monsoon means one of the sudden approach of monsoon wind over South India with lightning and thunder. Okay. And also, uh, it low, uh, lowers the, its uh, temperature of India to large extent. Then, uh, the next question, name the areas which receives heavy rainfall. Heavy rainfall area. In the previous class, I explained in the map question also this one. Heavy rainfall area, Western Coast, Assam, Meghalaya, Tirupura, Nagaland, Arunachal Pradesh. These are the heavy rainfall area. Once again, I will repeat. Assam, Meghalaya, Tirupura, Nagaland, Arunachal Pradesh are the heavy rainfall area. Uh, then, uh, more than 200 centimeter rainfall are receiving uh, from this particular area. So, these areas are mentioned the heavy rainfall area. From here, Mausin Ram. Mausin Ram is the wettest place in the world. Okay, Mouse syndrome is the wettest place in the world. Okay, then uh, some, some distinguished question also given. For example, weather and climate, uh, northeast monsoon and southwest monsoon. Okay, weather and climate, northeast monsoon and southwest monsoon. Uh, weather from weather and climate and this northeast monsoon and southwest monsoon from the school itself we make it to land. Once again you have to land this question. Then give reasons also there. Western coastal plain is narrow. Why? Western coastal plains have uh, do not contain deltas. Is it? And also um, uh, the lack of uh, widening due to the absence of deposits. Because of uh, that the western coastal plains are narrow. Okay, then India has a tropical monsoon climate because Indian climate largely depends on two monsoon. Is it uh, Indian um, climate uh, um, largely depends upon two monsoon? Which are the monsoon? 
north east monsoon and south east monsoon is it the winds that reverse their directions completely between summer and winter are known as monsoon winds okay then uh, mountains are cooler than the plains why okay in the atmosphere temperature decreases about 6.5 degrees celsius with increasing uh, height for every thousand meter hence the places of mountains are cooler than the places of plains okay then detailed questions also there but uh, omitted questions only one question is there right about southwest monsoon that question also you have to revise okay students uh, then uh, equable climate are also called British climate is it equable climates are also called as British climates then North India experiences dash climate during winter which climate tropical climate okay tropical climate then monsoon wind originates due to the seasonal migration of planetary winds monsoon wind originates due to the dash migration of planetary winds seasonal migration okay then a Indian landmass comes under the influence of dash trade winds, southeast trade winds. Okay, southeast trade winds. Then the mean daily minimum temperatures range from 22 degree Celsius. Okay, 22 degree Celsius. Uh, southwest monsoon is influenced by global phenomenon like El Nina. Okay, and also one important question, the jet stream rainfall is very helpful for the cultivation of wheat okay jet stream rainfall is very helpful for the cultivation of wheat for the cultivation of wheat then meteorology is the science of weather meteorology is the science of weather we wear cotton during the season summer season okay we wear cotton during summer season Okay, likewise, some of the one bad questions also there, and also das and das are the local severe storms, narvesters, kalbaisagis. Okay, likewise, some one bad questions also have you have to prepare all the one bad question, and also three more maps are there. Uh, the first one is uh, southwest monsoon. Now, just to see the map, students. Uh, southwest monsoon this is southwest monsoon wind then uh, the second one is uh, north east monsoon wind okay the second one is north east monsoon wind that also you identify then uh, the next one is uh, panna biosphere reserves it is in madhya pradesh okay panna biosphere reserves it is in madhya pradesh Okay, Panna Biosphere Reserves, it is in Madhya Pradesh. In the same map, Agastya Malay Biosphere Reserves also given. Uh, it is located in Kerala. Okay, Panna Biosphere Reserves is located in Madhya Pradesh. And uh, Agastya Malay Biosphere Reserves is located in Kerala. Okay, these are the maps also you have to revise. That's all this lesson. The next class, we will revise the next lesson. Okay, students, we will meet the next class. Thank you.